。你提到大国关系范式，这是观察中俄关系的一个很好的视角。You mentioned the model for major country relations. That is a good perspective for observing China-Russia relations. Major countries should figure out what they want with each other, building exclusive political blocks or fostering friendship that is open and sincere. China and Russia have found a path of major country relations featuring strategic trust and good neighborliness, setting a good example for international relations. 有的国家习惯用冷战结盟的滤镜。Some countries who are inclined to view China-Russia relations through the lens of Cold War alliances see nothing but their own image. The China-Russia relationship is based on no alliance and no confrontation, and it is not targeted at any third party. It is not a threat to any country, nor is it subject to any interference or discord sown by any third party. With China and Russia working together, the world will have the driving force toward multipolarity and greater democracy in international relations, and global strategic balance and stability will be better ensured. The more unstable the world becomes, the more imperative it is for China and Russia to steadily advance their relations. China and Russia maintain a close cooperation. This is the two countries' leadership between our two countries maintain close contact. Head of state interaction is the compass and anchor of China-Russia relations. Under the strategic guidance of the two presidents, the China-Russia comprehensive strategic partnership of coordination. For the new era, will surely grow from strength to strength. 至于你提到中国的贸易使用什么货币，答案很简单：什么货币好用，既安全。As for the currencies to be used in China-Russia trade, which you asked about, the answer is clear: whichever that are efficient, safe, and credible. Currencies should not be trump cards for unilateral sanctions, still less a disguise for bullying or coercion.